this is a red oak which as you can see pretty easy to split it didn't have any uh knots in it so it's not very hard to split but if you're not split used to splitting wood it still gets you kind of tired i'm not in shape enough to to split a long time yet but it's pl if you live in the country uh <clears throat> or you have some land you'll notice that you start naming places like the place where i am right now we have named the cliff house um and i don't know the man named cliff i never knew the man named cliff but uh when my papa bought this land there was a house here and apparently it belonged to a guy named cliff so he got the land in 1929 so for almost 100 years we've called this the cliff house this uh, wood's got a little bit of rot in it but i was thinking about that and the importance of a name i don't know cliff he may have been a good guy he may have been a bad guy i don't know i just know we name it the cliff house but if you look at people today it would seem that, that they don't care about their name the things they put online the things they post a person's name has no meaning anymore, no value. Well, the Bible says that a good name is better to be chosen than riches and glory. So, it's better to have a good name than to have all the money in the world. But it doesn't seem like that's the choice that people make nowadays. A good name. Growing up, I thought that verse was, you know, to the parents. It's actually to each individual person. So you can choose your name. You can choose to have a good name or a bad name. But you get to choose, and you're the only one that can choose whether you're going to have a good name or a bad name. This wood is really easy to split, almost too easy. Some of you commented on a chopping block. And I had mine and it wasn't quite as high as this, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it so high, but for this wood, it don't matter because it's so easy. Now this, this piece has a knot on it. It's gonna be harder to split, but I'll turn it this way just to make it harder <laughs> and try to split into that knot, which not sure if I'll be able to do, but let's see. See, it wouldn't, it split around the knot. Now, here I'm going to try to hit it here. To get a little piece and then maybe I won't dump it off the the block here but we'll see <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> this 
straight grain red oak is pretty easy to cut. It's kind of rainy this morning. Like I said yesterday, I don't have any wood back at the barn, so. It's been nice to get up in the morning and cut it kind of gets you started on your day some people like to run which I don't mind look at that knot that's what keeps me from you can't split the knot I told my son the other day the thing about knots it's the worst thing for a woodworker because it splits out and it's the worst thing for a firewood cutter because it won't split. see on video but if I'm swinging hard I'm having both hands together as I come down if I'm trying to swing for accuracy I don't put it all the way down especially a wood like this I can I can come from here and split it I mean it's not really hard to split if I was trying to split this piece right here that I got my wood sitting on It'd be a different story. But I can probably come from here and split that wood. It's so easy. Now, obviously, the pieces are going to be easier to split than the full piece, but you get my point.